Hi, my name is Alison and you are with Healing Dove Tarot here doing a love reading for the sign of Pisces during mid-April to mid-May 2018. That's for Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. So let's get started. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angels. Please show me what are the messages regarding love for Pisces during mid-April to mid-May 2018. Please show me. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angels. Please show me. What does Pisces need to know regarding their love life? What are the messages for Pisces? Please show me. Strength in the reverse. High Priestess in the upright. more cards thank you spirit what does Pisces need to know in regards to their love life ace of wands woohoo Pisces one more card there it is seven of cups Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Magician in the reverse. So the Magician in the reverse can hold several meanings. Um, for me, in the reverse, and I'm looking at this particularly because I'm seeing the other cards that are aligned to this. For those that are single or dating, it can mean deception. It can mean someone not giving the, the full truth about being a little bit dishonest. And the reason why I say that is because underneath this, I have the Nine of Swords. So you already have this gut feeling, um, single Pisces, that someone that you're speaking to isn't telling you the whole truth. Um, it's like you feel like it might not be that they're, they're trying to deceive you, but they're just not disclosing something to you. However, um, in terms of a meeting of the mind, the magician is the perfect uh, match to the high priestess and the high priestess is coming up here um, to show you again to listen to your intuition so whoever this person is that you're connecting with if you are single they are quite intuitive they are very spiritual they have a spiritual practice they believe in spirituality um, just like you except you seem to be more grounded in your spirituality um, it's telling you to have strength um, but it's reversed. So it's almost like you don't want to listen to your intuition. You're denying the messages that are coming through. It's like you don't want to believe what's actually being shown to you to be true and accurate. Um, the reason why strength comes in the reverse is because often we know that we need to make a decision about something, but we, we're lacking the courage to do so. And Pisceans, by nature, you are an empathetic sign. You feel um, things greatly. You um, very much take on other people's worries and stress, so much so that if you don't cleanse your energy, and this is a big tip to a lot of Pisceans out there, you need to cleanse your energy. Either do that in the shower and close your eyes and, and ask to cleanse the energy of the day from the top of your head all the way through the bottom and have the shower in the dark, or do that with an Epsom salt bath. But somewhere, somehow, you need to cleanse your energy and change what's happening for you. Um, you're picking up on something here, Pisces. I do see it's a very passionate romance. Um, you're coming out of this, this dreamy aspect of it all though. So it's like this person's rushed in. They're giving you this really beautiful, passionate, sexy romance. Lots of sex going on here. Very Lots of passion. Um, and, you know, either you or the other person has had a lot of options. It's almost like you're coming out of that now. You're coming out of this dreamy state and you're choosing one. Um, but at this moment, I am still seeing that there's a bit of deception there. It's almost like maybe you met them online and there's online dating going on and they're not communicating with you that there are still other people in the picture and you have a bit of anxiety about that. For Pisceans that are coupled, what I see is that um, there's a lot of balls up in the air at the moment. And that's not just in your relationship, it's in 
um, you know, your work and your family, there's a lot of commitments. And at the moment, it could be that you're feeling a little bit disconnected, um, like your partner is just giving up. He's like, I don't want to go to that family commitment. I just want to spend time alone or I, I don't really want to... Um, join you at going to the grocery shopping or is this just kind of pulling away a little bit um just know that that energy is only temporary it's just because you have a lot of things going on in your um in the rest of your life trust your intuition and the beautiful nature of this connection and this romance it is something solid um you have an inner knowing that it's only a phase and that it will pass it's just for this month really i see that happening and you may be trying to ask them <laughs> You, you may be trying to get it out of them and go, ah, what's going on? Tell me what's going on. And they're like, nah, 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 everything's fine. When actually it's not fine, they're just a little bit stressed out. They're a little bit anxious about money, work, whatever it may be that's holding them back in life, about not manifesting their dreams, about where they are. Um, and by you continually asking them to try and find out what's going on, it's, it's putting a little bit more pressure on your relationship and uh, it's not giving them the courage they need to open up and be honest with you. So the advice there for couples is if your intuition is telling you that you're fighting or you're arguing or something's up, just give it time and space. They will come back to you. You do have something that's concrete. The passion is still there. It's just a bit of a tough situation that you're going through at the moment. Okay, Pisces, I am going to draw you an additional guidance card. I do read from the Psychic Tower of the Heart by John Holland. So let's see one more card. What do we need to know for Pisces? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Angels. Please show me what does Pisces need to know for love? From mid-April to mid-May 2018. Please show me what do they need to know for love. Wow. Two cards slipped out for you there. Three cards, forgive me. Um, refusing to see, share the love. I'm actually going to put these back. I don't often do that. But these were the cards that I just had for the previous reading. So either my shuffling is not great or... They are the messages for you. And if they are the messages for you, they will come out again. Please show me what does Pisces need to know. I'm only putting them back because all three of them came out in the exact same order. Um, and I want to give you a clear and accurate reading. And I didn't feel like that that was for you. Please show me what are the messages that Pisces need to know about love for mid-April to mid-May 2018. Is that it? Is there anything else? One more time. There's too many cards there. Just check one more time. Is there anything else that they need to see? I feel like there's another message. Please show me. Please make it clear if there's one more message for Pisces in love. There it is. Okay. So we have Reach Out, Three of Pentacles, and Daydreams and Decisions. So... Three of Pentacles speaks about exactly what I was saying about um, juggling, trying to you know, manage a lot of responsibilities and not communicating about how that's going. Um, and I really believe that's for couples in uh, relationships. And daydreams and decisions is the seven of cups. So it talks about, and you've got it here repeating twice talks about um, being in a very dreamy state, not wanting to make decisions. This is very much for single um, Pisceans. And I'll, and I'll read to you what both say in the book because I think they're spot on. So reach out. You are a strong and capable person, yet sometimes you forget to ask other people for assistance. Now, Pisceans, this could be you or your partner. Um, you struggle along doing your best, but don't often um, quite achieve the results that you want. This card serves as a reminder that you don't have to do it alone. You may ultimately get what you want by going solo, but your desires will happen sooner and more gracefully with the help of others. What are you trying to accomplish regarding your relationships? Family, friends and outside organisations are ready to help. You just have to ask, for, uh, ask them. Set yourself clear goals and decide who has the best skills to help you reach that goal. Do some planning and preparation before acting and then watch the magic happen. Alchemy is the art of combining disparate elements to create something desirable. By uniting with others, you have the ability to create the relationship of your dreams. Be the alchemist. So um, that's really beautiful. It's talking to teamwork, achievement, working together. Um, and I know for couples, you, you know, it's back to that energy of, of nagging, trying to understand what's going on. Um, but really, as soon as you stop doing that and give space, it gives your partner the courage to come forward and reach out and say exactly that they need where they need help. And for singles, 
um, and I feel that this card is strongly for you. Um, daydreams and decisions. Talks about fantasies, imaginations, options and choice. When this card appears, it often means that there's a certain amount of confusion and uncertainty regarding your love life. What is it that you really desire? What would you like to change or attract? You have many options in front of you if you will only see them. Do some daydreaming about possible futures. Have fun. It's through your fantasies and imagination that you transform your desires into reality. Once you've sorted out your options and played around with the possibilities, it's time for action. While it's pleasant to daydream, staying in fantasy land is not wise. Take your time, but eventually decisions will have to be made in order for you to move forward. Reflect on your wishes, decide what feels right, and then choose a course of action. You'll feel powerful having, for having made the decision, and you'll be on your way. It's so really beautiful there. Again, it talks about dating, about you know dating someone new with passion, about having a lot of options and really not sure which choice to make. And you don't have to decide yet. Um, but that decision will come about mid-May. So if you're not online dating, if you're not doing that at the moment, I do see that there's a passionate um, love coming through for you. It might only be something temporary, something sexual. Um, I'm seeing Pisces, fellow Pisces coming through. I'm also seeing the sign of Leo. Um, yeah, Pisces and Leo. But it could be any sign because this is a general reading. I hope this reading has helped you Pisces. Um, if it has, please like, share and subscribe and I will see you again at the new moon for your astrological reading. Thank you.